Let's go over now to our text editor and we'll see how to put together one of these loops in Perl. First of all, we need to set up a variable. Actually, let's set that variable to 1 and we're going to call our variable i. It's very common when using a loop in Perl or any other programming language to use a very short variable name such as i because that's all the variable is doing so it doesn't really need much of a descriptive name. Once we've set up our variable the next thing we need to do is to actually use a while statement to check the condition and then if that's true we need to tell it to do something. In this case we're just going to show the number followed by a new line. Then we need to increase the value of the variable i. Let's save this one as loop and now we'll need to go to our command prompt to test this one out. and we call our file loop so now when we execute it we've been able to type out all of these numbers without having to mention any of them explicitly apart from the first one when we initialized and the cutoff point which is the number 11 we never get to the number 11 we do actually reach the number of the 11 but if we look back at our Perl script we never actually display it. As soon as this ceases to be true, once i actually reaches the value of 11 or anything greater, this block no longer executes. In fact, if we put the statement at the end here, it'll make it even more clear what's happening. The final statement is only executed once this, the condition is no longer true and we're outside the block. Before we move on, let's take a look at what happens if we leave out this vitally important part of our loop. This is a very inadvisable thing to do in a program. What we're doing is we're printing out this value of this variable, and then we're moving straight back up to the while loop without changing the value of the variable. So the variable i remains at 1 forever. What we've created is an infinite loop, a kind of feedback. The program will never be able to escape from the loop until something gives. Either the system decides that the program needs to stop or the computer runs out of memory if you're not so lucky. Let's try running the script. As you can see, the computer is happily printing out we are at number one and will continue to do so until we tell it to stop. So that's a very important thing to avoid, the infinite loop.